Okay, let's get uh, started on adding some settings. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because um, really it's good that you can carry out a task independently, but just in case you are a little bit stuck, let's uh, let's get you started. Okay, so we want to create a file called setting. That should be settings. I'll correct that in a minute. Settings PHP. And... Um, I'm going to create that in my editor, a new file, and we're going to take the first part of the view PHP all the way down to the comments. I'm going to copy that in there, and I'm going to say this is the admin settings page, and I'm going to put in this is an internal file, so we won't require config, but we will want to secure it against people trying to execute it from the browser. Okay, um, if it's not defined Moodle internal, then it won't carry anything out. So we save that as settings. PHP, save that, and let's look at the first setting I've been given. Okay, so we've got a default URL, and then we've got these settings here. So let's just paste. Let me just paste them in. Okay, so default URL, that's uh, the one we've already seen. So it's a new admin setting, type text. Um, okay, we've got our base URL. Um, got some git string. I might tidy this up a little bit so you can see it. Two, three, four. So that is the string that says this is a URL setting, and that is the string that explains what a URL setting is. And that's the default, and that's the type of parameter. So once you've got that under your belt, you should be able to add the rest of the settings. So we're going to make this video nice and short.